Lost my whole train of thought. Okay. So yesterday we were talking a lot about how Phyrexian Crusader, uh, three mana, two, two, first strike protection from red and white is kind of a very interesting meta breaker against all of these four color, um, four color piles. Also very hard to kill from scam. They have to have exactly fatal push or two bow master triggers to, to kill it from scam. Um, and I was, you know, looking at a shell to play it in and I weirdly, after like, a lot of a lot of struggling, a lot of like worse builds. I just was staring at the card, and I just saw right here, Phyrexian Zombie Knight. And so, I wanted to kind of come back to this mono black cauldron build, where specifically Phyrexian Crusader being a zombie is relevant if you can use Agatha's Soul Cauldron to turn your Phyrexian Crusader into a carrion feeder. And then if you have a Grave Crawler, you can just spend. Um, oh, sorry, I meant to add an Herborg to the the stack i had i had it and then like i don't know where it went okay hold on yeah i think i'll just go down the swamp um but you can you can uh sack your zomb your grave crawler to your carry and feeder uh mirror and crusader over and over to grow it uh over and over again and kill your opponent also if you're tr you kind of can do the same trick that you can do in hardened scales where if you turn your phyrexian crusader into a walking ballista when you're removing a counter from phyrexian crusader it's going to deal an infect damage too it is going to deal an infect damage too um so you kind of have two two ways to like kind of cheat with the crusader and, and in some ways it kind of feels like hardened scales Kind of, you know, the clickbait title here, where Carrion Feeder is your Arcbound Ravager. <laughs> Carrion Feeder is your Arcbound Ravager, and Phyrexian Crusader is your Patchwork Automaton. Phyrexian Crusader, much better than Patchwork Automaton, you know, almost immortal in a lot of these matchups, but Carrion Feeder a lot worse than Arcbound Ravager. <laughs> that's kind of like, that's kind of like the, uh, you know, the thinking here, too. Uh, you also have, you know, some Ink Moth Nexus to, to help with the, uh, the infect damage as well. Um, I've been very impressed by Priest of the Forgotten Gods. It's like kind of a plan B in these in these matchups. It's so crazy when you get this card under Cauldron. Like you just like totally destroy the creature matchups, which has been really important. Also gives you like out the Sanctifier and Vec, which is a pretty big deal. Is there a chance the Ozolith is good here? I, I did consider playing Urza Saga plus Ozolith. Um Decided to not really go that route, but there is a chance. Okay, let me make sure the Urborg is in. I'm just going to get going too. So like, so like one thing yesterday too is we played against basically Scam and Four Color Bean all day, and doing something drastic like main decking Phyrexian Crusader is um, is I think kind of an interesting way to approach. Go from there. Okay, we have a five lander. At least two of them are Ink Moth Nexi. I think I'm gonna Mulligan on the draw here. This hand is a lot better. What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. Although I'm not sure if we're putting back. I think we put back the Blood Ghast. Is there a payoff for being model black? Consider light splash even for cyber cards if you already have fetches. Well, uh, what would you like to splash for? I consider playing Voldaren Thrill Seeker. I meant to do say this in the deck deck, and maybe 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 you splash for Thrill Seeker. Although I didn't like that it was another three drop. Uh, but Thrill Seeker plus Crusader is pretty interesting. Where you you make it a four four infector, and then you attack for 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 four, and then you um, you get to ping your opponent. I thought that that dynamic was kind of cool. Um. So, Marsh Flats is kind of throwing me off here. We, you know, if they're going to binding, I'll do the binding this instead. Pro Red? Okay, cool. Okay, I'm glad I didn't show up with that today. I did I, I did do playtesting of this deck. I didn't playtest with the Thrill Slicker. Okay, that's good. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Redbeard Angel with the 33 months, welcome back. But yeah, like, you know, this, this happens a lot of times that I when I play monocolor decks. Okay, what are they doing? They're not creativity because they have this card. I think I'm just going to go Bloodgast. Um, oh. Well, I was not really expecting that to happen. I was gonna sack my Inkmoth Nexus, play the Crusader. I guess I could have just should have just played Crusader. 
They pitched a, a binding. Oh, they're oh they're uh, Gorios. Okay. They don't have Gorios. Is there a good Tyvar Cauldron deck? We had a couple of Tyvar Cauldron builds. None of them were like super impressive. Yeah, another Fable. So we need we need them to brick on their Gorios for a, a little bit still. Rope with the three months, thank you. Expire with the three months as well. Is this a Thran Vigil deck? Uh, well, I don't think you want to play Thran Vigil here necessarily. Yeah, we could maybe have played the uh, Archon, the, the the Cauldron this turn. The problem is like we're still kind of we're pretty behind on board, and my opponent didn't have Gorios last turn. So I feel like I feel like just trying to fade the Gorios and playing Crusaders seems like a fine plan. Yeah, I think I'm not gonna cauldron onto my Crusader this turn. Nova Salt 2. Pro red, pro white, baby. Let's go. Although I guess I could have. Exile the Traxid now. Hmm. So they only have one card left in their hand. They do. They are. They. They are going to have Reflection plus Solitude up, but you know it doesn't matter. It, it's not, it will stop me from Inkaboth Nexusing potentially. The only I, I have a list that's scarily close to this. The only difference is I have Grief not dead after all planned there instead of Grave Gravecrawler Score Blade. I think it is very funny when people say I've got a list exactly like it. It's eight, eight, eight cards different. I don't know. I'm not, 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 you know, not, not saying anything, but uh, I feel like eight cards is so much. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, um, you can play Scam Grief in here. It's the problem is it's like it's like a two card combo more or less. Like for the most part, Grief is only good when you play Not Dead after all. Um, but you you could definitely go that route. Okay, so I can get this up to 5 power, and then, yeah, I can just activate this, activate this, ping them three times, right? Uh, I, also, I also think your Carrion Feeders get so much worse, and also, like, your Phyrexian Crusader Car Cauldron Carrion Feeder plan gets worse without Gravecrawler. I agree that Gravecrawler is not the highest quality card. This is so funny. This is this this you know this is definitely the next game plan too. Just kind of cheese them out. <laughs> nice <laughs> reflection of the mirror breaker solitude. We have a infecting true name nemesis. Yep, <laughs> just uh, <laughs> three more pinging infect damage. Maybe a good screenshot to start the day with. Um, oh, whoops. I need, I, I want to continue the upda updated state of modern. And yeah, I think it's better than what I had. Okay, so we're up against Gorios. Uh, I don't know. That, I guess it, do we do we have bring in our ley lines? We already have four Agatha Soul Cauldron as graveyard hate. That feels like that might be enough. Um, the Crusaders definitely seem really good. Uh, Priest of the Forgotten God seems like it's unlikely to get the ball rolling. We could maybe just be on Fulminators instead. Fulminators seems kind of interesting. Could do something like cut a grave crawler, cut three priests, play four fulminator, but we're on the draw. You need seriously a promo code for TCG? I do! I have a promo code for Cool Stuff Inc. You can use go to Cool Stuff Inc. and use code Spike for 5% off. I do have a promo code for Cool Stuff Inc. Use that one. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's on the screen. Uh, yeah, I think let's just do this. I, on the play, I'm going to bring in the Fulminators. If Leyline isn't for the Reanimator deck, what is it for? Living in, uh, <laughs> living in mostly. But like, th listen, their version of Reanimator is very, very, very good against Leyline of the Void. They have four Leyline of the Void a lot of time. Oh, sorry, four Leyline binding for your Leylines. They sometimes have to fairy to just bounce it. They have Fable. They, they, they're so good at like, like th their deck is a fair grindy four color deck that just kind of happens to play four copies of. Um, um, I think we only done Grave Crawler. Their deck is a fair, grindy four color deck that just happens to play four tracks of four Gorios Vengeance, and like, and they have like you know, Fables and uh, Bitter Union to loot. They're not, yeah, they're like they're like they're an up the beanstalk deck. This is not a deck that is notably fragile to, <laughs> uh, to uh, Leylight of the Void. I think go Leyland they can play around Cauldron sometimes. Yeah, but again, it's just it's just not a good plan to beat these kind of builds. It's it's I know it's very odd. Ah, oh, Ephemerate. Are there any changes to make to Cascade Bins less of a showcase challenge? It's just it's very tough because the metagame is so is so odd right now. Everything is kind of in this like constant state of change and evolution that I'm not really sure. At the very least I don't have a don't have an update for you. Yeah, they got a lot of red cards in their deck. No red mana at the ma at the moment, at least. Let's actually just not attack this turn. Put two copies of Priest of the Forgotten Gods into play, and and most likely put ourselves in a position where we can edict the Solitude next turn. Okay, so this is a three card shot. Oh, four card shadow prophecy. It's pretty good for them here. Would I play any Bring to Light in my Cascade Bean list? Uh, oh, they have a Tali. Very cool. Uh, well, this sucks. But you know what I mean about like the whole Let It Avoid plan? It's just like they like it's just not very good against this stuff, which is like the majority of their deck. How's the Dallas local meta look like? I haven't played local in a long time. Okay, let's go to game three. I don't know, maybe we could draw Crusader, but they just have so many cards. Yeah, I feel okay about that concession. Okay, let's do Fulminators on the play over the Priests. Click the submit button. What do you think on Bean Heartless Summoning? We played the Bean Heartless Summoning deck with uh, brought back and, and Mario. It was, it was solid. Can uh, find that in the Mox field. That's really good if we draw a land. We'd also like mill over a Crusader. I'm gonna I'm gonna mulligan the one lander, but obviously the hand has a lot of good pieces there. Oh wow, we mill over the Crusader, so now we have turn two Crusader, and we can even put a counter on it with the Scorn Blade Berserker. This is kind of the idea of Unearth too, but you know, over Call of the Death Dweller. You know, I think I think we're two points for Unearth, zero points for Call of the Death Dweller, right? Is that uh, if we're if we're keeping track? Um, I think I'm so in on infect damage. I'm just gonna do the Scorn Blade here, and like if I miss my land drop, I'll just start my next turn sacking this. Uh, 
Okay, no beans this turn. Like, like literally, what what does this four color do deck do against the straw? This is like the nuts. <laughs> this is like very funny, the nuts in modern. <laughs> like, what, what, I guess I guess they could try to Gorios and Atraxa, but we have protection for that too. They're gonna go down to they're gonna up to eight infect next turn if I don't draw anything. And uh, I guess I guess that's still not not quite enough, but I'll play it. And I, I guess I guess I use it. I hold it up for graveyard hate instead of activating it now. Then we consider pump spells like Mutagenic Growth. The thing is, we we have pump spells like Agatha's Soul Cauldron and turning our this into uh, a carried feeder or ballista. It's like this is our only infect creature. We have this too, but it's it's just not a Mutagenic Growth deck. I guess I could have exiled the Traxa on their instep here, so they can't go like binding, binding Cauldron and response Scorios. But even if they do that, they're just dead. Like that's not even a winning line. And here I'm just gonna not tap the Cauldron. I guess. Is in fact Plan B. Or do you expect to do this often? Uh, I expect to do it like basically every time I draw a Crusader. So like in, in a lot of ways, Crusader is just kind of like any other threat. <laughs> Um, but like when you draw Crusader plus Cauldron together, like you're gonna win with Infect a lot of the time. And also, and also, like you, you are, you, you're gonna have games where you are gonna turn your Inkmoth Nexus into a Carrion Feeder. You're gonna have games where you're going to. Um... Okay, Excel the Ballista. You're going to win with infect damage a lot of the time, yeah. It's a shame wilds of a drain is the commander set up the Beanstalk and Cauldron seem cool. Can't imagine extra constructive play. <laughs> yeah, it, I think it really set really surprised us with how impactful to modern it was. It did me a um, yeah, I just don't think it's quite there. So I tend to like to lead on Stitcher Supplier, so that can mill over Bloodgast, draw, draw on Earth, fill the yard for a future cauldron. That, that, I, I'll say that Blight Bully Rat is probably closer than any other Infect creature I read yesterday. Let's not play uh, Priest into the Shocked Blood Crypt here. Just bait with the Ballista. Ooh. I was the one that got baited after all. They get a basic swamp. So, back to back reanimate. This is, this is the kind of reanimator variants you will bring in Leyline 4, by the way. Pretty dead to persist. <laughs> Plus land, but if they don't have a land, my priest maybe gets them at me, at me out of this. Man, if I had led on priest, we we're you know pretty good shape maybe. I guess if they go land persist, I could just sack these two. But of course, you know they only have four persists. You can unearth. White belly rat, sack it, proliferate your own creature, and poison counter. Yeah, I know. It just it doesn't seem very good, but yeah, I I agree. Not you know not the worst idea anybody's ever had for a deck like this. Uh, too bad I wasn't able to, or didn't bowmaster this game. Hoping they play another <laughs> card like this instead of persist. Still can't beat that one really. Guess I could maybe draw cauldron. Oh, we also get to discard both blood gas if they arc on here. The one ring. Okay, let's go ahead and play our bowmaster in response.
Cauldron would be a great draw. Is it better to play two blood gas or is it better to put a counter on the ballista? Seems better to play two blood gas, I guess. We have such a big attack here too. I, re I really do not. I'm not a believer in Call of the Death Dwellers, but I think you've done a good job, like, building around it. I really like that you can, like, get Asmo plus 3 drop. I think that that's pretty neat. Beseech the Mirror. Sacking Bitter Union. That's kind of cool. But if this is just for, like, a 4 mana reanimate spell, I'm not as excited. Damnation. Okay, I'm not doing so bad against Damnation here if I draw... Well, I guess land's kind of awkward, but I, I get the Blood Gas back. Punish for playing the Blood Gasts. Milled over a Grave Crawler. Two Grave Crawlers in the yard. I think the Cauldron Familiars look kind of weird with only two ovens, but... I suppose I get it. Okay, not so bad. Uh, I will also get in for two infect, I guess. So we're putting them down to three. So still pretty cold to a persist. We do get to get the blood gas right back in it. Yeah, they should probably be able to get an Archon into play here. Yeah, I think I'll play, play the fourth Spyro over the third Call of the Death Dweller. I also kind of want to not play Ragavan in this deck. You're really bad at, like, like, you're really, this deck is not very good at clearing the way for Ragavan. Wow, no Persist. So you can cut the Ragavans, play four Witches Cauldron, Witches of, you can go up a land and up a Call of the Death Dweller too. It'd be fun. But this looks very fun. Cyber looks solid. Probably want at least one bombard. Oh, I missed that there are no bombardments. Yeah. Maybe even four bombardments. I don't know. That card's really good. Huh, they're not okay, not tapping the ring. What's the theory behind playing Nexus? Nexus plus cauldron. Um like like here here if we drew a cauldron, we could go Nexus Inc Nexus on Activate Nexus, call to the Nexus, exile Carrion Feeder, and sack Bloodgast, like, four times, hit them for five infect. And then, like, we could also, like, we also have the Inkbot Nexus Walking Ballista Cauldron plan. I mean, they have to have something with all these cards. So if we, I, I guess I'm hoping to draw a Walking Ballista or Orcish Bowmaster. But I'll take a Cauldron. So they, you know, they have protection from everything, chat. So I can't do the the play I just described. But yeah, I, I think I'm mostly holding this up as like graveyard hate at the moment, and then we have like one damage from Ballista. Uh, you can't play- Gravecrawler, you need a zombie in play to play from the yard. These are vampires. Can you kill an upkeep? No, because I can't- I can't make this a carrying feeder and a ballista in one turn. I'm gonna have to untap. Ballista and upkeep, that's- that's one damage, chat. There, three. And I- and I can watch this, I can. Not let them put an Archon of Cruelty into play. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny the turn they finally draw persist I have that's the turn I have the cauldron we can activate mutant vault this, these are not mutant vaults these are ink moth nexuses
Next eye. I think we put these on the blood gas, but. Sure. So they're pretty likely to have another removal spell, I suppose. Let's see what we draw. It's a good draw. Okay, so let's start off Cauldron, target Walking Ballista. Target the Bloodgast. They're most likely, they, they need to kill this in response, so they will. Then we crack our fetch. Get back two blood ghasts. Activate Ink Moth. Activate Ink Moth. Cast Carry and Feeder. I guess I could have cast the Grave Crawlers instead of activating the Ink Moths. Shouldn't it really matter? They're going to need way too many uh, removal spells. I guess they just need two removal spells. Seems unlikely. I guess they, no, they, no, they're going to die. They have, one, they, they have the ring damage, so... Yeah, they, they, even the second Fatal Push doesn't do it here. Mono Black Hardened Scales. You could have tapped Ink Moth for a swap. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I could have, I know. I'm pretty sure I said that, but whatever. You could have cast the Grave for a swap. I know, I, I, I literally said that. I literally said, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, Crusader's out for sure. I'm gonna play a couple Fulminators over the Unearths, also. You could cast the Grave Crawler after animating, is what they meant. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I did not say that. Yeah, I, I did seriously consider a lot with Troll. Decided, like, it was worse than Priest, basically. I'm Doom Wake with my good 7 card Ley Line hand. Could this deck run Tyvar? Um, we played Tyvar in similar versions of this deck, but, like, for, for the most part, Phyrexian Crusader is just so good in this metagame. And is, Crusader's also a zombie, um, which helps like which helps you like carry and feed your leyline. <laughs> oh, all right, Spider-Man meme. Both of them. Okay, they have a six-card leyline hand though. So our our deck is like not very good on average with two leyline the voids of the play. But neither is theirs maybe. And we have a uh, dopey creatures we can attack with. Same, but yeah, I, 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 you could splash a color in this deck. Apparently, Thrill Seeker doesn't work uh, like I wanted it to. Oh, sorry, I want to blast Black Guest here. Hoping they missed their land drop, and I just get to Fulminator Mage them here. Uh, Thrill Seeker, uh, Crusader has pro red, so you can't. Uh, Thrill Seeker, your Crusader, attack for four, sack, deal four more, in fact. Which was something I was considering, and I think it sadly doesn't work. Green Fall, the Troll plus Gris seems nice. Yeah, it's like, like, what are you cutting for those cards, though? I, I, I'm pretty confident there isn't room. It's like I, I mean, it kind of like the unearths, but I do like Lotleth Troll. I do like I do like that card. Um, I like to get in the deck. You're also also when you're playing Ink Moth Nexus though, the splash is tough. Like 
It, it, I think I think if you if you want to keep these ink moths in, which I I, I want to continue with them at the moment, um, it's it's tough to to make that cut. Um, I'm definitely gonna ping the bowmaster. I kind of like just pinging both and getting in for two. I like Vraz and Death Shadow Scavenge. Yeah, everyone likes that. Leyline. No, Besiege. What if we went more in on the Hardened Scales route? I don't know, maybe we just cook for a little bit. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I feel like there's no way this card's right. It is very cool, though. Oh, they got Shieldred? Oh. <laughs> Playing right into my Priest. Yeah, I, I like Bitter Union plus Besiege. It's kind of cool. I agree. 19 lands with uh, four drops in your deck is tough, dude. To you, got a lot of got some threes, got a lot of threes. So that was ugly, yeah. You're right. <laughs> Leyline. Damn. Damn. Guess that's not the end of the world. Nope, put the Twitch Prime, thank you. Okay, but she's sacking their ley line. They have another shield rid, they're gonna get a ring. They do have another shield rid. I guess maybe shouldn't have fetched, but I'm not sure how we're beating this either. Okay, probably not with that. Let's go to game three. I don't know, maybe maybe we just go do the same thing. It's like the ley lines are like so easy to, to like disrupt. Just be more in on the fulminator plan. On the play. You can play like a dismember and a victim of night. Let's say have multiple shield rids. We have the cauldron six graveyard hates you. Maybe we shouldn't have these ley lines on the sideboard. They mostly want it from living in the Okay, Mulligan the One-Lander. Uh, keep this one. I don't think their deck should really have much removal for Cauldron, so... Get a little greedy in Graveyard, the second Cauldron. I think we'll fetch turn one also, so we're more likely to mill creatures for, for the Cauldron. No, no Ley Lines, nice. We mill a Bloodgast and a Blista and a Fulminator. Well, we have the, we have the, oh, we have, we have the Nuts. We just actually have the Nuts, holy shit. Hopefully don't play a basic or a discard or a thoughtsies. I think I put on the blood ghast here. Well I mean not, let's put on the supplier so that we can fill the graveyard a little bit more. Oh, they have the Fatal Push, though. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I guess I should have done an upkeep. Although, I wanted, I wanted the extra damage. Like, the extra damage is not worth nothing, right? Okay, that's a nice pickup here. Actually, insane draw. Okay, so we go counter here, and then I think I think I just, or I could just sack the hex mage now and fizzle the draw. I guess it's better to let this ping happen, let the backup happen, 
ping bowmaster. Destroy this. Play grave crawler. Bring back the blood gas pass. Maybe I should have played this before. They can have another bowmaster available. Or you can sack, sack the draw. They, can get, they should be able to get plenty of basics here, unfortunately. Okay, this card is shielded, which they can't persist. Like, we should not, not be expecting them to be able to get that back, right? So I'm going to call Jin Priest of the Forgotten Gods. I'm going to put the counter on the Grave Crawler. Play another Grave Crawler. Activate the Priest ability. Play my land, get back the Blood Ghast. Play Grave Crawler. Play Scorn Blade Berserker. Counter on the new Grave Crawler. Sack this to draw a card. I think. Sure. Hold up, Bowmaster. Arborist with the four months. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, you're cheating. Yeah, I, I know my mono black Cauldron Drek. It's it's a little oppressive. Should have <laughs> roll zeroed the the deck a little bit, maybe. Had a discussion with the. Uh, Community about it. Oh, did I, not acti I did activate Cauldron, right? Activate on the priest that turn. Okay, so set Grave Crawler, Blood Ghast. I know Priest looks a little wonky, but when you get it going, it's just so crazy. I guess sack the. Scorn Blade, so I can attack with Blood Gas here, actually. So, 3-3 three, three Ballista. Might actually have Lethal. Because, like, I, I'm gonna go... Cauldron... I guess I saw this here. Activate Priest again. Yeah, I should have Lethal. Sec like here, sec like here. Oh wow, carrying feeders like that certainly gets the job done. Cause it's also a ballista. Okay, so that's six, and I, I have a uh, plenty of plus one counters, so let's start pinging them. Okay, two and up, let's go. Oh, got lands and spells, huh? Thought it was a Japanese promo blister. Uh, maybe it is. I think it's it's a secret layer drop series on here. I, it may be like Magic Online secret layer or something. Burn. Hmm. Top card is Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Let's play Carrying for you to turn one. For it to be on the play, it's nice my mana base isn't too painful. Am I still pretty high on the Mono Blue Cauldron list? I think it's pretty bad against the Beanstalk decks, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, dynamic modern dynamics change all the time. Suspends a Rift Bolt. Skewers me down to 13. Seems like I should probably Bowmaster this turn, right? So the plan against Burn is to kill them faster. Yeah, and I, I think because they're going to deal themselves a lot of damage with their lands, it's not a super unreasonable request. Can you play Blissa for zero so you put in the Cauldron? Yeah, but we don't need to do that until the turn we play the Cauldron, right? There's no reason to do it right now. Thank you, Goblin Guide. We love you. So we're likely going to have a turn 4 kill here. 
We're being a 10 life against three cards in hand. I'm feeling okay about that. Okay. It's basically the fourth burn spell because it deals a damage to me here, putting me down to nine, so three more burn spells does it. But they have two cards in their hand, so it has to be like three one mana burn spells, right? Um, can I, is, is there any way I can like just get them like pretty close to dead? Like close enough to dead where if they tap both islands, so they're going to be down to 13. Was it, they're basically at 11. So if I go Ballista on zero, Berserker, counter here, Cauldron, the Ballista. This will be three power. I'll attack for four. And then I can sack the Orcish Bowmaster, so I'll have four counters on the Ballista. So I can, I can deal them eight damage, basically. Which doesn't seem like a super relevant number to get to, to be honest. So I think I'm just going to go for lethal next turn. Do not do that. Oh, right, the Rolling Vortex. Cool. <laughs> we can play Ballista on one next turn. We should also probably be able to sack this grip block. Yeah, the blood guess will have haste next turn. No, we, we want to leave this to, to block a haste creature, I think. Is eight key or Anviltron good for this meta with scam four color beans? I feel like I'd probably play Anviltron at the over eight key, but I think both are probably fine. I think both are very good against beans. Or sorry, uh Anviltron I think is probably very good against beans. I don't know so much about eight key. And um I think eight key is better against scam um than Anviltron is for what it's worth. So he should be winning this game. There's They have two cards in their hands, so there's not really any combination of things that kill me, right? Yeah. Yeah, good thing I didn't blist on zero into the Vortex. I agree. Um, Crusader protection from their deck seems pretty reasonable, huh? Are we sideboarding really at all? I don't think so. I'm happy they don't have, like, Eidolon probably. Most people don't have Eidolon at the moment. If I had Fatal Pushes, I'd bring him in. Thoughts on Endurance in the side compared to Niles Bob or Soul Guy Lantern? Well, the first Lantern is better than the first Endurance, because you really want it because of Urza Saga, but additional copies of Graveyard Hate, like, I, like, you know, like, I probably would play the first Endurance over, like, the third Spellbomber Lantern. Just fix them. I mean, two mana removal spells are just not good against their one mana creatures. Fulminator seems good to lock them out. I don't think so much on the draw. I, I think you could consider Fulminator playing on the play. The draw doesn't seem like a good plan. Seraphim with 18 months. Just changed to the 33. Very cool. Yeah, we played against Prince of P a couple times uh, this year. Not as often as we used to. Is Victim Knight separate option better than Feed the Swarm? Uh, well, it's worse at killing enchantments, but it's better at killing Murktide Regent and Scammed Furies and Primeval Titans. You know what I mean? They do, uh, they do different things. Uh, there's not really, like, nearly... No if there are, like, a lot of Rest in Pieces in Modern, which there are almost no copies of Rest in Peace in Modern, um, I could get behind Feed the Swarm. You wanna oh, play Ballista on Zero now to fade Vortex. Hmm. Tragic stuff kills those things too. If you have, you know, we only have one sack outlet in the deck, it's kinda tough to get the thing enabled, right? Okay, cauldron on top. So now we probably played on zero, huh? I'm gonna go for the Bowmaster line again. You have 10. I have the cauldrons. Oh, Ballista. Okay, Ballista. And then what else? Those priests? Or... Priest is kind of like... It's a very slow, morbid enabler. I don't know how much to count it, but... It can probably count. I 
Oh, the Scorn Blade Berserkers. Okay, yeah, maybe Tragic Slip is better. Yeah, I'm kind of kind of on board for Tragic Slip. Okay, we're down to five. Probably gonna be a little slow here, huh? To go off a little bit with Priest next turn, but could just be dead. Searing blood, huh? Well, Unearth is kind of weird here since I, I just need any other creature to be in the yard for me to start priesting. But I don't think even if I do start priesting, it's going to be enough. Yeah, don't see any way to deal more damage than this. Probably have to go to game three. You can get them to two. I think I get them to four. Wasn't it better to block with Bowmaster over Orc? I don't. Th uh, maybe. Oh, maybe you're right. I mean, they have the fiery eyelets and stuff. Yeah, but maybe just the plus one counter is better. Then I could have. Um, I could have. Uh, I still couldn't activate a priest that turn. Okay, on the play. On the play, do we feel like we want the Fulminator plan? I kind of, I'm kind of down to try it. If you had Bowmaster dead, oh, un unearth the Bowmaster too. Maybe, I, I think we maybe still, maybe would have still been a bit short, but might be right. If we had a second land, this hand would be nice, but we don't. Okay, I like this one well enough. I think I put back the Ballista. Mill a carrying feeder, unearth, and stitch your supplier. Goblin guide. So you're probably gonna block and sack to the carrying feeder next turn. My top card is Blood Gas, so very happy to mill that over here. Two Blood Gas, huge. Another Grave Crawler. Yeah, I, I minus one swamp plus one herborg. Don't, don't trip. So to put it for six here. I think I want to block the Goblin Guide and sack the Fulminator. I think it might Searing Blaze the here though. Boris Trammy. Down to 14. They also might not attack with the Goblin Guide. Oh, right, I forgot that it's Goblin Guide. Scorn Blade Berserker on top. Anybody saw the archetype can keep up with the bean metagame? I'm not sure. It's obviously an important question to answer, but I've been similarly stuck, to be honest. Seems fine to not sack the Bloodgasts this time. Maybe I wasn't even supposed to sack them last time. 
Ideally, we just find a cauldron off this uh, grave crawler draw and win the game. Priest is looking reasonable too. I like the priest can clear a blocker for the carrion feeder, so I think I'm supposed to play that over. Um, grave crawler, grave crawler. You could get do 13 if you grave crawler sack a bunch of times. I re I really didn't think I could. There's also like there's not it's very hard for me to die here with the amount of mana they have, but I'm not I'm not sure that I could have, but you know if I could have I could have you know what I mean. Yeah. No. Oh, sorry, I guess I should just be sacking the Blood Gas, because they're going to come back with haste here. Did they have lethal? Four from Feeder, three from Gravecrawler, plus, plus three sack Gravecrawlers and two Blood Gas, and the Berserker's Egg. Yeah, if it's, if it's exact season, I thought that I was far enough away that I wasn't going to have lethal, but sounds like I missed it. I think we're going to win here, though. Yeah, I, I, for, I, I thought I was, like, so far off, I, I, I had, like, no chance. I guess we could just get a trophy prediction going. Keep in mind, we are playing Mono Black Zombies. But also keep in mind, we've trophied with Mono Black Zombies before. Alright, let's mulligan. I did not think about Saga in this deck. This is not the kind of deck I like to play Saga in. I'm gonna put back the Gravecrawler. I, I, I like to go turn one Supplier, turn two... Um, Sack Supplier to a Berserker a lot of the time. Uh, we played Drops Messenger in the first draft of the deck a couple weeks ago. Uh, it ended up being, I think, not good. Unearth off the top. You binge you for 13 months, thank, thank you. Could maybe be a bit better to play that Bloodstained Mire. We build the grave crawler though. It's nice. See about casting the grave crawler first. Play around bowmasters a little bit. I think I'm just gonna slam my. Priest of the Forgotten Gods instead, though, so that if my opponent has Fable in their hand, the Fable's not a very good play next turn. Is there any reasonable... Yeah, uh, Priest of the Forgotten Gods is our answer to Sanctifier. It's, you know, not always going to work, but, you know, we'll work often enough. Crusaders also has, you know, protection from their deck. Oh, wow, Blood Moon, sure. Plenty of black mana. Dothi is super bad for us. Uh, yeah, we, we have removal spells on the sideboard that can help us defeat a Dothi, but I would uh, I would say that the card is very good against us, yeah. You want a Gravecrawler first here. Okay, cool. That was nice. Never consider Endless one in one of these culture decks. Um, no, I think the card is just kind of weak, you know what I mean? Okay, so Phyrexian Crusader, I think, is still good against Scam. It's not as good, but it, you know, it dodges Fury, dodges Terminate, dodges Bolt. I think it's still a card we want to have access to. Uh, I'm going to be bringing in, I think, my four removal spells. And then um, could consider playing the Leylands here. I think these Leylands actually suck. I think I'm going to cut them for the next time. Yeah, boy, Stone Coil Serpent, but like I, I don't know, you, you you wouldn't you wouldn't really want either of these things, I think. Um, I think I'm down to trim a priest, trim a ballista, 
And the Unearths, like, are in theory good, but, you know, they are pretty bad if they draw Dothy Voidwalker. Something like this. Yeah, we could play Voidwalker in the side instead for the Living End matchup. Um, like, when, when else would they come in, though? Like, still not that often. And I, we, 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 we're maybe just, like, not that bad against Living End since we fill our Graveyard so much. Weathered Winch. Yeah, I'm also open to trying out, or just thinking about, um, Tragic Slip 2. Oh yeah, bring him in Scales, that's true. Zombie Cleric, Exile Card from Graveyard. <laughs> nah, I'm a little slow, maybe. Um, yeah, I usually like to lead on Supplier, just be able to mill over Bloodgast, Gravecrawler. Supplier also turned one before they can Voidwalker, is nice. We do at least have an answer to Voidwalker. Okay, not a lot. Main phase Bowmaster, sure. Still didn't mill over anything too, too relevant. I guess we just main phase our Bowmaster back. Voidwalker against Tron. Well, the problem with Voidwalker against Tron in this deck is that we don't really have any discard. I, I, I thought about Champion of the Perished. The thing is, we, we don't have enough zombies for it to be good consistently. But it, it, the, car, the, the idea is appealing because um, it gets a lot of counters. And so I tried to build a more zombie-focused variant, but I ended up thinking that the Bowmasters and the Priest and the Bloodgast were too important. They took my Bowmaster, and they are ahead of the Bowmaster battle. They only have two cards in their hand, though, and we've got, you know, Priest plus Bloodgast. Or so Priest plus, plus Gravecrawler, plus plenty of removal for their, their Bowmaster and their top decks. So I'm feeling okay here. Um, I think that I should probably hold up Dismember so they uh, can't like scam Fury me. And if they do, if they don't scam Fury, then I'll Dismember their Bowmaster so it's not messing up my priest stuff. They do have a Voidwalker though. So let's dismember that. Not dead after all. Okay, so let's go. Victim of Night, the Bowmat, the Voidwalker, take a damage, play a Gravecrawler, activate Priest. Uh, I guess I attack for. No, I actually don't want them to block. And sadly, don't have a zombie in play right now to replay my Grave Crawler. No Witch's Cottage is in the deck either. I think we play the land because we have we have a card draw engine in play. But I don't sack it yet because of Blood Gas. Okay, Return of the Grave Crawlers. Could maybe like just attack with the Bowmaster here. Don't think it would be that bad. Cauldron would be a great top deck. Carrion Feeder would be okay. What only has one card in their hand? Is it Grief? <sighs> Fuck, dude. We've been getting got by Shielded lately. It's been so popular. <laughs> Never mind. Uh. I'm just gonna get with the whole team here. <laughs> They're drawing really well today. Okay, they're dead next turn if they brick. GG's. Forna? Let's go. Very funny deck. Alright, we got two Frickson Crusaders, we got a Cauldron, we're on the play, we got a keep.
Actually, if they're Murktide or Living End, just getting the Graveyard Hate here is pretty important. Let's play the Cauldron. Yeah, Crusader's really good at the moment. Their creativity. Mm, Grixis. Nonsense. It's very odd lag there. Okay, they keep a card on top with Consider. Necessary to play an Urborg for turn two double back with Nexus. I mean, yeah, I am, I am playing the Urborg. I it's not on the Mox field, but it's in the deck. So let's cast this first. If they counter it, then we have a, car a spell in the graveyard. I'm going to cycle the Unearth now, which is bad against Spellmasters, and I shouldn't have done it. Fuck. Oh, sorry. They maybe don't have Bowmasters, they're looking for it. But I really wanted to draw one drop. Yeah, I think I think they're like the Grixis, Deck Fade, and Narset, Bowmaster, <laughs> Anti-Bean deck. Sue Conan with the Twitch Prime, thank you, thank you. Okay, so they do have a Fatal Push. Excellent Crusader here to put them to 5 Infect here does feel pretty nice. It's a bit of a problem if they have Fetchland Snapcaster for the push, though. I think that this matchup overall... Oh, uh, okay, Bolt, okay, sure. This matchup overall is probably pretty good, like, with how resilient our creatures are. We kind of drew the, uh, you know, the Crusader half of the deck. Uh-oh. Doc Doc Faded is an empty or you know Twitter user, not the actual greatest thief in the multiverse himself. They're at thirteen. Or sorry, sorry, I'm at sorry, they're at eighteen, they have three cards in hand. They're snapping back Consider. They keep a card on top, it's bad news I guess. Bowmaster would be kind of nice because then we get the uh, the double ping going. Or the, sorry, the, uh, the, act, the priest activation going. Um... Yeah, I'll go ahead and try to get an extra damage in. Fuck. <laughs> Been a while since that happened. If I if I had only had this in play, huh? And they have eight power in play. I'm unable to block. Let's go to game two. Matchup's probably pretty reasonable though. Does seem like they have enough answers to Crusader though. Like like Crusader just is dodging bolts. Gets blocked by Bowmaster. I think I think we'll just be on the Fulminator over Crusader plan. Seems fine. Let's do this. They put back Ballista here. Uh, 
Oh yeah, maybe, I guess yeah. Having having uh, some removal for Shieldred, I agree. Probably, probably would have been better. A viable is infected modern lately. Uh, Phyrexian Crusader is insane. Uh, the rest of the deck is awful. Nice. Don't love to see them playing a basic, but... Do you love that even through a counterspell here, we're gonna get to blow up that uh, Xander's Lounge. Sure. Drown Catacomb, let's go. Build over a blood gas. <laughs> Build over a grave crawler, though we don't have a zombie anymore. Man, Orcish Bowmaster when it comes with a Stone Rain is uh, pretty dang good. Okay, so Blood Gas back. Attack for one. Counter here. Sack to draw. Uh, not a bad draw. I think we're gonna go for a second Bowmaster though. Sure. Let's uh let's just draw a card here. Okay, ballistic carrying feeder goes pretty crazy. Back again. Yeah, let's let's bring in some removal spells for a shield red. All comes down to this, huh? But like three. Maybe a trim a fulminator on the draw. Trim a priest seems okay. Trim a ballista. Kinda like that. They run it for sure. Uh, the, the the list that I saw that looks like the list they're playing was playing it. Uh, <laughs> we're ready for a shoulder here. Victimized modern staple. Uh, it, it is two mana kill a creature for the most part, which is, you know, you ever, you ever cast a terminate before? against even with if I had another black source we could go priest into like blood gas on earth next turn blood gas is just so good against like them holding counter spell mana up here let's let's just do that and then I can go next turn cast priest if they counter it just unearth it is it putting out color guns command I mean that card's not very good in modern at the moment I'd, I'd be surprised if they had it in their deck but they could I 
Maybe I should have played my land first. But I wanted to... Yeah, I guess I could still help the swamp. Just let that go because we have the cauldron, I think. And then... I probably do jam the cauldron. If they don't do anything. Okay, this is fine. Sure. Let's go to the main phase. The cauldron activation so we can have the extra counter on the ballista. So if they, so we can kill both creatures if they remove this. Worse against Snapcaster though, but better against this. Nice though, like if they have like Murktide or Shield. Not that I think they probably have Murktide, but you know, it's a conceivable card. Uh, do I want to try to sack the Ink Moth Nexus here? Kinda? It's not really doing much this game, probably. I don't really care if they like removal spell this either. Okay, I like drawing Carrion Feeder. What is backup? Only on twitch.tv slash aspiring spike could you be 4-0 uh, with mono black zombies and Chad is asking what the backup deck is. <laughs> oh, what's the backup mechanic? Ah. Uh. It, it gives this ability. I see, I see, I see, I see. Just, I'm, you know, traumatized. That makes more sense. Man, Flame of Norse is so crazy. No counterspell? Fuck. They got two cards in their hand. Just, the game is just so over if that resolves, probably. I guess they got another flame. I'd love if my opponent casts a shield. <laughs> Is three break dice necessary when you have four fulminator? Well, maybe. They have three islands. It's like fulminator on the draw is just too slow, so having like a way to not just get beaten on the draw by Tron seems kind of nice, right? Am I really going to terminate Snapcaster? I think so. Wow, they're targeting Fatal Push, not Flame of Anor. That can't be good for me. I was gonna Victim of Night the thing in response. So now I think we channel Takanuma and get back Walking Ballista probably. They have a counter spell. A 
Looking dire. I think I still channel the Takanuma. Okay, let's get Orcish Bowmaster. Guess it's bad news that they're countering the worst card there, and they're, I'm, we're still they're still pretty ahead. At least we got the counter spot out of the hand. Hall of the Storm Giants is bad news. So we draw a land that can attack with Bloodgast and Victim of Night Hall of the Storm Giants. They find another Memory Delusion off the Narset. That's horrible. Man, I really thought if we played it, <laughs> of all the matchups to lose, I didn't think it'd be Grixis Control, huh? Kind of a dream matchup for zombies. All these removal spells also just end up being so bad. Drew all three of them. Probably had one too many in. I'm gonna concede, I think. Yeah, obviously not a bad start, but would have been a cool deck to trophy with. May still trophy with it today.